It's Wednesday, November the 26th. I'd like to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, as far as the lake level, lake level is about 9, 10, and 3 quarter. The same it's been for about the last two or three weeks, been real consistent. Water temperature's down in the mid 50s, uh, 53, 55 degrees. It depends uh, where you go. That's kind of on the main lake, like from uh, Shell Knob to the dam, up in the river arms. I'm sure it's down in the 40s. Uh, mid 40s or so, so should be good jerk bait water up there. Now, you know, the, the wiggle wart, the crankbait bite's been real good, you know, mainly wiggle wart, catching fish on spinner bait. Uh, a lot of times we've got to have the right conditions. It's kind of tough to get bit on it if you don't have any wind or clouds. You can get bit on it in the morning, but if it uh, slicks off and gets to be a bluebird sky, gets a little tougher, but you can catch them kind of in the same areas uh, around the boat docks, 15 foot or less. Now something that uh, should really be starting, and I did locate a bunch of bait fish, and it's something I'm gonna spend some time on this weekend. I haven't spent too much time deep fishing because we've had such good conditions for the wiggle wart and spinnerbait. I've mainly just been covering a lot of water, uh, throwing a spinnerbait and crankbait. So rather than talk about that this week, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm going to be doing. Now, I found a bunch of shad in the James River uh, from about the mouth of the James up to about point 12 uh, in Ants Creek and all up around point 11. Now, the, the shad are out there really deep. You know, they're 30 to 50 foot deep and some of them over to 60 and 70 foot of water. And a lot of them are right down the middle in Ants Creek. And usually what happens this time of year is whenever that bait gets grouped up like that, uh, this ice fishing jig and the jigging spoon is really becomes a big deal. And what we do, this is a one ounce Rapala ice fishing jig. You'll notice it's got a hook on the end and a treble hook in the middle. And this is a white and chartreuse. Uh, blue and white will also work good. You usually fish this on a bait caster with, you know, no less than 12, uh, up to 17 pound line. And the other two things I'll fish would be a chrome jig and spoon and a white jig and spoon. we we'll use it like a war, a war Eagle 7 8 ounce, either white or chrome. Now, I got into them a little bit in the center of one of the creeks out there. And we got into a mixture of Kentucky bass, largemouth, and white bass. It, you know, I, we had them going really good. It lasted about 20, 30 minutes. And I didn't spend a lot of time looking for other schools because, like I said, the crankbait bite had been on, so we went up on the bank. But this is the time of year where you can really get into some, some big schools of fish. And it'll hold throughout uh, the next, you know, all the way through December and into January before then fish start to move up shallow again. But... You know, I didn't see the, from like Kimberling City down to the dam, I did not find the big groups of shad. It seemed like from the mouth of the James, like I said earlier, on up to, you know, point 12, point 13 areas, a lot of bait fish. And what I'm doing, they're mainly out there on them long flat points or any place I'm finding the big groups of shad, I'm spending some time idling around and looking below the shad or in the shad, you know, for what we call fish arcs or, you know, fish worming, fish that are aggressively feeding underneath of them. Now, some of these fish will be extremely deep, even up in the James River. We'll catch them out there anywhere from 55 to almost 70 foot of water. And a lot of times, if you're not seeing any of the fish underneath the shad, just start there at about 50 foot of water, wherever the bait is, and work the jigging spoon, or the ice fish, fishing jig, just vertical jig it up off the bottom. And don't be afraid to move out, you know, like say as far as 65 feet or so. Because a lot of times, once, you know, now that thermal climb is broke up, the water temperature is about the same. You know, once you get down to 30, 35 feet, I believe that water temperature is the same all the way down. So there have to be any place, you know, depth wise. Uh, the key is the bait fish. And it seems like once you find them this time of year, They'll be in the same area from day to day. You know, they might be a couple hundred yards off. Uh, some of them will be out in front of these real deep boat docks. And a lot of them won't necessarily be on the points, you know, on the, like on the river channels, on the long flat points. There will be some out there, 
but they'll also be a lot right down the center of the deep creeks. If the creeks have got 60 to 80 foot of water in them, don't be afraid just to idle right down the center of the creeks and watch your electronics real close for the bait fish. This is the time of year that uh, we really rely on the electronics when you're doing that. Now, if you're not into that, if you get a little bit of wind and clouds, uh, a lot of fish bite the wiggle wart and spinner bait, and that'll continue until that water temperature gets down below 50 degrees. If you like to throw a jerk bait, go up into the river arms. The water is actually really clear up in Flat Creek and up into Long Creek. It's got like a oh, like a pea green color, and depends on what days you go out, but you'll find water temperature from you know 47 to 52 degrees. And especially with the water this clear this time of year, there'll be a jerk bait bite up in them areas as well. So I hope everybody has a good uh, Thanksgiving day tomorrow and uh, talk to you next week. Good luck. Good fishing.